Okay, hello and welcome to what may well be the finale of this half of Resident Evil 2. So, what I'm going to do is put the ink ribbons away, and I'm going to bring these mixed herbs with me, and I'm going to bring this little key with me. I don't know if I'll need it, but I'm going to bring the key with me, just to be sure. Because who knows, it may be important. And hopefully I'll find us a... Wait, there's an enemy type in the remake. Okay, you know what? I'm going to switch out the acid rounds for flame rounds. I might come to regret this decision, but I'm going to do that. And if nothing else, I just have a whole bunch of grenade rounds to fall back on, so let's just switch these out. Uh, so I need to pick up the flame rounds. Honestly, I probably should have reloaded the handgun before I did that. Yeah, I'm going to do that just because it's going to bug me if I don't. Uh, so, now we can put that away. Honestly, maybe I should take the SMG. The SMG could be really handy. I don't know if it will be, but it could be, and that's important. Okay, so let's just put our handgun bullets and the handgun up here. Because honestly, I kind of... I do kind of want to stick with it, because I have used it for the entire game up to this point. But hey, if the game's giving me... I so if the game is giving me ammo for my more high power weapons, I don't really see much reason to, you know, not use them. Okay, so we've now restored power here. I am now a bit concerned about the idea that enemies might just appear around any and every corner, but hey, we will see how that goes. That's a problem for me when enemies actually appear, isn't it? Okay, so, this should be powered now, right? Should I seem built firmly in place? This is a shutter switch. We'll push this. No enemies. Great. Fantastic. I'm still a little bit concerned, but hey, that's okay. Now, what does this say? Two or more staff need to be present to enter, commencing with fingerprint verification. Yeah, obviously we aren't on file. Okay, so I will need to come back through here later. I assume that will uh, be either where I f that will either be like where I fight the last boss, or uh, where or like where I finally get the thing for Sherry that I need. Okay, so let's go and check out the other side, and hopefully we don't have to deal with uh, any of the... Hopefully we don't need to deal with any more of those advanced liquors we saw. I don't know if... I don't know if they have like an actual name, but either way, I don't like them. Okay. Let's just pr push this button and be ready to run. I'm so glad I brought the flame rounds. Because these things... I don't like them. So these things are ivies. Are they dead? Fantastic, they're dead. So, those things are IVs. In the remake, uh, if you don't have a survival weapon, like a knife, or for something to stop them when they grab you, they will just instantly kill you. Without fail, every time. Oh, there's another one. Burn. Burn. Okay, two... Two flame rounds is a lot to kill one of those things, to be honest. I'm gonna switch to my regular grenade rounds for a little bit, I think. I feel like this is a bad idea, but I'm gonna climb down the ladder. You know, just climb down the ladder into the abyss near, uh, like, all of... You know, closer to the roots of this weird gargantuan plant with, you know, eyes growing out of it. You know, definitely not a bad idea at all. Okay, so what's in here? Anything? I hear something. That's a liquor of some description. Yep, there it is. I see its claw through the wall. You know what? I'm gonna risk it. I'm, just, I'm gonna use the bow gun for this. I probably should. 
Okay, that got me. <laughs> okay, if only for a second, that actually got me. Okay. One. Two. That mess. Three. Four. That mess. Okay. We kill it with five shots, and I think three of them missed. But yeah, I'll be honest, for, if only for a second, that actually got me. Okay. So, I'm not going to take any chances this time. This time, I'm not taking any chance. There's two of them?! Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna sw- You know what? Forget it, I'll just use grenade rounds. Because I need to keep the uh, final stuff for- Well, the final bosses, right? Oh! Oh, that actually makes- That actually works really well. Because it knocks them down. Why did I not think of that sooner? It knocks them down. Oh, I feel so stupid right now. Okay, let's just go through here, I suppose. What's in here? Hopefully no more liquors. You know, now that I think about it, despite the fact that they are called liquors, I don't think I've seen any of them actually use a tongue attack once in the entire game so far. Okay. What's this, what's this computer say? The map of the lab. Oh, we can have a, a map lap here. The, the, this must be where I fight for the last boss, right? Or at least something, because there's a save point here. If there's a save point and a night box, it wouldn't give me access to it for no reason. Like, I imagine I'll get to the end here and it'll be like, hey, do you have the key? Okay, that looks suspicious over there. P4 lab? Okay, let's just head on in, I guess. Honestly, I am now just like, oh, what? What is this room? What is this room? Okay, I'll take a first aid spray. I'll take that for certain. Uh, what's with? Oh, weapon box key. So what do we get? Twelve grenade rounds. Okay, so that's what forty total grenade shots we have. Of plus, like, what, 13 flame rounds and like 12 or something acid rounds? Okay, I'm feeling very confident about just using the grenade launcher for the rest of the game now. Honestly, that being an automatic door kinda just panicked me for a second. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this thing and get a little closer, because I think the bow gun shoots three at a time. Two, and that's it, down, and bled out. Fantastic. Okay, so one, two, that's that down. Okay, this is actually going pretty well. Okay, that time, maybe it was a little too far out. I do kind of wish I could just pick up the ammo that I fire at these things, because honestly, you know, it's a cr it's a crossbow. I imagine that's how crossbows work, right? You, like, like, it's not like it's explosives or anything. Like, the ammo will still be there. Eva, okay, let's go. Okay, we got another zombie. Okay, there are so many zombies in here. Okay, fantastic. Down. And we can also now grab a lab key card. Fantastic. Well, a card key, more accurately, but whatever. Chemicals, what kind of experiments have been performed here? Probably bad ones, no an umbrella, but you know. Okay, this looks important. Uh, a, a, vaccine sh a vaccine synthesis machine. We need the base vaccine. Okay, so I definitely don't have that yet, but hey. If nothing else, I've cleared this room out for when I have it. So I guess I've just kind of cleared the room out in advance. You know, just saved myself a little bit of time later. Is that a first aid spray, but... That looks like a first aid spray in that cabinet. It's, uh... May well not be a first aid spray. Yeah, it's just it is just various assorted chemicals, unfortunately. 
and you know, let's just reload the bow gun. And hopefully I won't need it anymore. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Hang on just a second. Uh, also, there's nothing in here anymore, right? Yeah, because I already used the key. That's why I got 12 more grenade rounds. Okay. Okay, so let's go and check out the other room of, uh... Annette! You killed William! I'll never forgive you for that! Wait! I've just prepared a sample of the G-Virus. And this time, no one will take it from me. This is the most significant piece of research my husband has ever left in my hands. Stop it! Sherry's in serious trouble! William implanted her with his embryos. There's no telling when they'll pupate. And if that happens, then Sherry won't. Won't. What? <laughs> William. <laughs> William. You're alive. Man, I better not have to do a boss fight right now. It it wouldn't. It wouldn't make me fight him in a, in a small corridor. No chance. Okay, yeah, he just runs away like a big hero. Uh, w William is still alive. He's getting stronger with each skin he casts off. Sherry! Tell me what I need to know. How can I save Sherry? I have detailed information. Everything you need to know to prepare the antidote is right here. Man, that paper was immaculate for how much blood is coming out of her. Instructions for synthesis of the G-Virus antigen. G-Vaccine. Codenamed Devil. Well, that's not suspicious at all, is it? Any beings infected by the G-Virus will reproduce through the impregnation of an embryo within another living being. Unless rejected by the host, the embryo will undertake a process of gradual, of gradual cellular invasion, infecting the host's cells on a molecular level as it rewrites their DNA. Once the metamorphosis is complete, the host will be, be capable of continuing this cycle of self-replication. The duration of time... The duration of time for the pr process will... Sorry. The duration of time for the process to run its course will vary from subject to subject. In the early stages of, cellu of cellular invasion, it is possible to halt the progression of the metamorphosis as through the administration of the GE vaccine antigen. The following procedure details its synthesis. The, the vaccine creation requires the base of vaccine, obviously. This can be rearranged by the uh, activator VAM. First, set the empty cartridge in to the VAM and activate it. After several moments, the process will be complete and, and the white-colored base vaccine will be set in the cartridge automatically. Then confirm the green light is on, remove the cartridge, and proceed to the next step. Once the base vaccine has been prepared, set it in the vaccine synthesis machine located in the P4 level equip experiment room. The machine is fully automated and only requires the user to push for sequence start switch. At this point, the program will will run automatically, and synthesis will be complete within approximately 10 seconds. As the synthesis of Devil is is an extremely de delicate process, the quality will vary with slight shocks or changes in temperature. Careful handling is required for the proper results. This is going to be a hassle, isn't it? Save my daughter. And tell her I'm sorry I wasn't a better mother. Tell her I love her. Sherry. Uh. Annette! F. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat, the self-destruct sequence has been activated. This sequence may not be aborted. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Man, that sounds like Leon's fault. 
Okay, what's over here? I don't like this. Oh, the lab card key was used here, okay. I still don't like this, but let's see what's going on in here. Oh, this is weird. That's... That is a giant moth. Okay. Two. Three. Okay. Four. Okay, that's that dead. I probably should just use grenade rounds, but whatever. Okay, so that's that dead. Uh, what does this have? I can't reach for a computer. Is this room pointless? Is there anything I can get in this room? Uh, where? Well, check the map. There is nightmare here somewhere. Somewhere in this room there should be a night. Maybe it's in this little hive thing. Okay, new idea. What do I do first? Can I kill these? I can. That was maybe overkill, but whatever. Okay, operate for computer. Brutal system, culture experiment, accessing all this. Uh, G U E S T. We are guest. Okay, fantastic. So now Claire can just register her fingerprints to that. That. And she should be okay. Guess the registration is good enough for 24 hours? That is 20. Honestly, that is 23 more than I'll need. Okay, so now we're done in here. I still need to do all the stuff to get the base vaccine, but I think I know where I need to go. And I'll be running back through somewhere else nearby, I think. So I should be a bit. Yeah, I'll be going ba uh, back. Yeah, I'll be going back past this item box. So I should be okay, I think. Fantastic. So let's quickly just drop all these off. I love how the self-destruct. Sorry. I love how the self-destruct sequence has been started, but it hasn't like uh, been awful enough to me to be like, hey, uh, actually. Yeah, you should hurry right now because the timer's started. I assume that'll be for about five minutes from now. Okay. So. Oh. Okay, still no timer, though. I love it when I still don't have a timer. Okay. So, C2 hanging. Okay. I think I know where I need to go now. If nothing else, I feel pretty confident about that now. I oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad for me. I hate that for me. Uh, direct gateway of the underground platform. That is the exit route. I Oh, this is this is more dangerous than I should probably be ruling. Uh, this is more riskier than I wait. Okay, yes, it can come this way. It hasn't sequestered itself to just that corridor. But by the time it gets over here, I will be long gone. <laughs> so later, buddy. I will see you on my way to the final fight. And hopefully we will not be seeing each other again. I could have killed it, but, you know, I I feel like I would kind of just waste the ammo. So, up we go. Up, up this ladder we go. Because now we have two doors left that I hadn't gone through. Okay, honestly, 
this might be a bad choice, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because <laughs> honestly, I'm just gonna take all of the healing items I can get. Like, if I can find if I find an item, if I can find something usable, I will take it right now. I, I say that, I know what I'm gonna be bringing into the last boss fight. It'll just be the grenade launcher with all of the different ammo. Like, it will be it will be the grenade launcher with all the ammo types, and then just like all first aid sprays. It's probably. Oh, oh, an Ivy is there, okay. Don't like that, but hey, I can just run right past it. Also, if I have, also if I've if I have to run all this way, shouldn't I have just like genuinely, if I have to run all this way, couldn't I just go and get Sherry myself? <laughs> or just like go with Leon? Whatever. I guess that's just pedantics, isn't it? Okay, so I have the key card, so I should be able to go in here. Fantastic. Because now that key card is useless, I can just throw that away as I go through the door. Also, I have one item spot spare. And that sounds like a regular zombie. Okay, that's the vaccine cartridge. Now, let's combine these. I probably should have just done that immediately. Let's grab more grenade rounds. I wish I could just, like, automatically load them into the grenade launcher. That would be fantastic. Uh... Okay, credit to that one zombie. He took two to bring down. Oh. Oh, that's a lot. That. Oh, wow, that one got blown in half. Like, genuinely... I was surprised earlier in the game with some of the dismemberment attack when I shot one's arm off. That's that is amazing. Like, I just blasted that one in half. Activate the um, hold set cartridge. Okay, vaccine cartridge in. So that so we do that, and now we set this, this, and now we should be able to set that away, right? I need to prepare the vaccine for Sherry. Activate. For, yeah, for base vaccine synthesis. So do I just interface with the computer again? The light is already on. So what do I do? Uh, oh, it'll be on here. The MO disk. The MO disk. What do I use that for? Oh, <laughs> it's for start switch, of course. But what do, what do I use the MO disk for here, Evan? I know that in... I know that in RE1, I need it to, uh, I need three of them to rescue Chris or Jill, depending on who I'm playing as. Okay, we can grab the base vaccine. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what this MO disc is for. Hopefully I'll figure that out sooner rather than later. But I can now check out this door. Two or more staff present to enter. Fingerprint verified. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe the ammo disc works here. No? Uh, the label says for cargo, ver for cargo room verification. Okay. So how do I get through there? Whatever. I... I don't know how I'm gonna get through there, so I'll just run back and synthesize the thing. And that has just hit me with another realization. Um, what well, one? I have ace. I have so many healing items currently on me. I don't think I need to worry about dying unless one, unless Nanmi pulls out an instant kill move, which I don't think I will see. I need to be a bit careful about that, Ivy. Honestly, uh. That thing is so much less threatening here than in the remake. Like, in the remake, I feel like it is a genuinely threatening enemy type. I think that, if you're not prepared for them, can kind of kill you in an instant. But there, it's just like they seem to just kind of fling a little bit of poison at you and aren't really that much of a threat. However, I now know that I have to go back into this room, which is going to be a little bit annoying because I need to dodge the zombie again. Well, not the zombie, the liquor. So where is it? Oh, that's a that, that's a zombie. It ain't getting back up, but that is a zombie. Oh, there is another one. Okay. Okay. Once it gets back up, boom! Right back down, dead. Okay, I know that should. Did, did the liquor just 
re did Malikai remove itself from existence? Okay, I blasted that one's leg off, so honestly, that's fine. I blasted that one's leg off, it's not gonna be stopping me anytime soon. Okay, there's what we need the, the MO disc for. So that's that unlocked. Yeah, this looks like... That looks like the path towards uh, the end. But I still don't understand how I'm meant to open that second door. Oh, maybe that's for playthrough two. Maybe that's for the B scenario. Like, maybe that's for the B scenario. Like, I do that with Claire, and then Leon can come through after he makes his verification thing. I might be wrong on that, but I think that's a pro that, I feel like that's a safe assumption, right? Okay, so let's run back through here. There shouldn't be any enemies here to stop me high enough, sorry. So now, hopefully there's no enemies appearing in here, because then we can just go synthesize the vaccine, go and get on out of here. Anything in here? No? Fantastic, no enemies have appeared in here. Probably because I killed them all earlier. So let's just go and make this, make this thing. Base vaccine goes inside. And that should auto-synthesize that for me. I don't know why, it's like, hey, will you push the switch? Yes, of course I will. I need it. Okay, so that is the vaccine made for Sherry. Oh, that, that's how important it is. It replaces the lockpick. Okay, so, since I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be going into the final boss fight here, I'm actually going to drop a safety save just in case I die. So, uh, if there's, if there's an, if there is an abrupt cut at any point in the, like, next five minutes, uh, yeah, assume I just died and, and, uh, just read it uh, for convenience purposes. Because I imagine I'd have to sit and watch for cutscenes again if I die, so, uh, you know, that would be in, a, in the interests of time. Hopefully we won't need to, but, uh, you know, I will just mention that in advance as a potential precaution. Okay, so, first aid spray, first aid spray, another first aid spray, and acid rounds. So I have 39, sorry, I have 46, I have 46, 57. I have 57 shots of the grenade launcher to kill what should be the final boss. If that can't, if that isn't enough to get it done, then honestly I didn't deserve to win. Okay, let's quickly drop a save and be on our way. I feel like this is maybe a... You know what? No. I'm not gonna save. I'm just gonna... I'm, I will just... I will risk it all. I say... I say that. I, yes, I am fully aware of the irony of me going, I'm gonna risk it all with, like, five full heals in my inventory. <laughs> with five full heals and a fully armed grenade launcher in my inventory. Yeah, yeah, definitely, uh, that's definitely what I call risking it all. High risk gameplay here. And no enemies here. Okay, let's go. Okay, yeah, this is an endgame. This is definitely an endgame zone. Okay, through we go. Music stopped, so we're gonna get a cutscene. No doubt. Five minutes until detonation. Well, that's that timer I was worried about. Okay. Emergency elevator. Elevator is spelled wrong, but okay. So let's just hit this button on the side. I imagine that's to call the thing, right? Huge lift to use to reach the platform. Yes, we'll activate it. Okay, that's, that's Birkin. There he is. Okay, I'm gonna start with the flame runes, I think. No. <laughs> helps if I, uh, cl it helps if I click the right one, you know? It also helps if I, if I was so generous of the game, there. 
Oh wow, I did I did a ton of damage. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna heal once already. Uh oh no, I'm stuck. I got I may have gotten stuck on his leg for a second. Oh what I would not give for a quick turn button right now. Or maybe just to be able to get a little bit more range on him. I mean, I can probably... Oh. Okay, what's he doing? Oh, he's... He's transforming again. Okay. That's kind of gross, but also kind of super metal, not gonna lie. Oh, he's... He's jumping now. He has become Doggo. He has become world's most gross, messed up doggo, I suppose. Buddy, please just come down here so I can hit you. Oh, is that an instant kill? No, but it definitely did a lot of damage to me. Yeah, that's danger. And I missed one. Okay, acid rounds. Switch to acid rounds. I don't know how much damage this does comparatively, but hopefully, uh, hopefully it's enough. <laughs> it also probably helps if I hit him. Okay, that's a pass. Okay, I'm injured again. I'm, it's only yellow caution, so I think I'm okay for now. Actually, that might kill. I don't know if I can- I don't know if I can mash out of that, but... Okay, that's danger. First aid spray once again to the rescue. Wait, I'm stuck. I got stuck again, hang on. Maybe I just need to make him whiff an attack and vent him. Oh, he seems- okay, when he jumps, he seems to do like a bit of a roar before he does. But, at the same time, I just seem to get hit by this grab every single time he goes for it. And we are now in orange caution. Wow, we are actually having a bad time with this. <laughs> okay, we have 37 shots left to kill him. That's it. Okay, that should be him down, I think. Right? Okay, that's that done. Let's get out of here. Okay, nice little elevator journey down, and I think we are now at the end, All right? It should just be a run now, I think. All right? Yeah, I think it's just a run to the end now. Yeah, that's a train platform. We should be in the clear. It's over. No. I have. 
have to find my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning. Ah, my god has protected you. It will always be with you. Claire. Sherry. Okay, so, with that, what, is there any more narration, or is that, okay, that's great, that's okay. So, with that, we have now finished the first half of Resident Evil 2. So, we've now finished Claire's scenario A. So, going solely based on that, I really liked it. To be honest, I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't, because I played through the remake last year, just on my free time, and I thought the remake was fantastic. And I thought it might be a case of just, like, having played the remake, I was maybe a little bit worried that maybe it, the original wouldn't hold up as much to me. But no, it turns out they are both phenomenal in their own right. It's, I really like, like, there's some things in this version that the remake just doesn't have. Have Like, it makes, a, like, Annette is basically completely different. I think Annette is a lot more, I think Annette might be a bit more, kind of likable in this version because like in this version she seems like she genuinely kind of at least cares about her daughter whereas in the remake she clearly does not care for like 90% of her screen time um, and honestly Claire like Claire is so good I love Claire in this game like in both the original and in the remake she is like like, she has the most big sister energy I have ever seen. Like, genuinely, absolute winner of a character. I'll talk about Leon once I actually do, like, his side of the game. Um, but yeah, so far, big fan. Big fan of, Res of base Resident Evil, well, original Resident Evil 2 so far. And we will be doing Leon's game very soon. But, uh, yeah. As for... As for Resident Evil 2 so far, I can't really recommend it enough. I mean, to be fair, I don't think it's really a game that I need to spit- I don't think- I, think, I don't really think it's a game that I need to say I recommend. Like, it's commonly considered as one of the best games ever made. So, uh, yeah, I think- I think the game and its legacy kind of just speaks for itself for the most part. Also, uh, yeah, this one was directed by Hideki Kamiya, and, uh, We'll be seeing more of his games in the future, that's for certain. Because at some point I need to do all the Devil May Cry games. But with that, that is Claire's A scenario coming to a close. But we aren't quite done with Resident Evil 2 just yet. Honestly, I was, I was quiet there for a second because I kind of expected, like, a cutscene there, but I guess not. Also, we got some nice little art of, uh, okay, we got the B, we got a B rank, that's not too bad for a first time playing the game. Uh, 3 hours, 43 minutes, 27 seconds total game time. Okay, I, honestly, I'm pretty okay with that. For my, for my first time ever running through this version of the game, I am more than happy with that. Okay, so, if I just hit start, do we get a cutscene? Do we get, for a Mac to title screen, what happens? Oh, okay, I guess we get, I guess we get to save. Okay, so, let's just, uh, click this, save, and now we are on to Leon's B scenario, which we will be, which we will then, uh, be starting on our next episode of Resident Evil 2. However... We aren't going to be doing that right now. So, if everything's gone to plan, this episode should be coming out on October 11th. Which means, which should be a Wednesday. And our, and our playthrough of Pokemon X or Y, I haven't decided which one I'm going to be doing as of the time of me recording this. Yes. That will be, basically I'm doing a playthrough of that for its 10th anniversary. So I'm going to be starting that on the 12th. So, pretty much the plan is, I'll do Pokemon for the rest of this week, so Thursday and Friday. Then we will start Leon's campaign on Monday, 
and then it so Leon's campaign will start next week and it'll have episodes on Monday, Wednesday and Friday with Pokemon being Tuesday and Thursday and then the week after that they'll flip places and we'll just and I'll just alternate that until I'm done and with assumably RE2 because assumably because I think it's a safe assumption that I'll finish Leon's side of the game before I finish an entire Pokemon game. But with that, I'm going to end off today's episode here. As always, feel free to leave a comment or click any of the buttons down below if you feel so inclined. And I will hopefully see you either tomorrow for Pokemon, on where I start that up, or on Monday where we start up Leon's B scenario. So yeah, have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Okay, later.